Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now today we're joined with this insane Mini Challenge 210. Now I've never actually really spent any time with Minis at all. I mean, I have made a few videos of them in the past, but certainly nothing to the caliber of this. I think there's very few panels on this car which are original. I mean, it's fully track spec, as you will see. Now the car is owned by a chap called Andy, who I shall introduce you to very shortly before going out in the car. But before that, let's run some B-roll of this thing because I mean, the details on this thing are just phenomenal. Okay, be honest, have you ever seen such a mental looking Mini? I mean, this thing is fully, fully track spec. I mean, just a quick peek inside, full cage, everything. I mean, it's absolutely nuts. Anyway, with any further hesitation, let me introduce you to Andy, the owner. Hello, Hi. welcome to the channel and thank you very much for well, inviting me along to, to take a look at the car. No worries. I think the first pot of call is probably under the bonnet um, because I mean, that's probably where well, I say the majority of the work has been done. I mean, I think there's been majority of work done to the whole thing. So if you don't mind, give us a quick run through of power-wise stats. Right, so it was mapped by Angel Tuning uh, back in January, I think. Uh, 315 horsepower, uh, about 480 newton meters of torque. Um, basic bolt-ons, standard engine, standard turbo. Uh, full host of forged motorsport parts. Uh, enclosed intake, all the heat wrapped hard pipes, hard boost pipes, big intercooler, decat down pipe, and a three inch track safe system. Yeah, because you were on track yesterday in terms yeah. of filming this video, right? Literally so it's still yesterday. got the track exhaust on it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, look at this. You're saying standard turbo? Standard turbo. Fair play. Do you reckon you'll, uh, you'll upgrade that? or? Uh, I've had a hybrid before, but it didn't last very long <laughs> as for. <laughs> piston to go and bye bye but fair enough fair enough but mate no i love the gold heat wrapping that's always a nice touch um now i don't really know where we should go on to next really because there's just been so much done to it if you want to um, work front to back yeah let's do that okay yeah so on. um luke toe strap mini challenge from bumper uh so he's got the nice lux works decals on it uh standard radiator still got ac doesn't work <laughs> But, but never still mind. got it. Yeah, still got it. Uh, it's got a Mokul oil cooler, uh, 19 row, keep the temps down, which is quite nice. See all the forged stuff that I've mentioned. Um, it's got mini challenge engine mounts, uh, a whole host of Black Series power flex bushes, uh, front and rear, um, nice ultra racing brace just to stiffen things up on the strut towers. Uh, take a look around to the wheels. It's on 18 by 8 inch OZ Ultra Legeras with a pretty hefty sour brakes on it as yeah. well. <laughs> Thanks to Tarox, yeah. uh, one of the car sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, they sorted me out with these big 350mm eight pots. Front and rear? Front and rear. Yeah. Um, on the back we've got 320mm bell adapted discs with a nice caliper spacer. So just going back very quickly to the front end, you're mentioning that it's got quite a few parts from the Mini Challenge car, right? Yeah. So the full on, fully fledged. Oh, the Mini actual Challenge race car. series, yeah. Flipping hell, man. <laughs> that is nuts. It's, uh, yeah, it's just to help with like longevity because they suffer with um, like engine mount failure quite yeah. commonly. So okay. just to... I mean, it practically is a Mili Challenge car for the road. Yeah. I mean, we don't have the plates on it at the moment, but it is road It is a full road car, yeah. Yeah. I've been it running it as my daily for since I got it. But you um, daily it? Yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll ignore the actual daily, but yeah. that doesn't get driven really. <laughs> and this basically started life as a standard Challenge 210, right? Yeah, so run of the mill Challenge 210. Um, 210 were made, 210 horsepower, all the same spec, all the bells and whistles apart from a sunroof. <laughs> but uh, And all of this. <laughs> well, and now all of this. Yeah, uh, mate, it's absolutely insane. Should we take a little wander around to the back? Um, wing, that's... Uh, really? Also, mini challenge. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. That's from the race cars. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've got RSI C6 diffuser, which has literally just been repainted. Sweet. And that's the track exhaust down there. Yeah, just a little downturn just to help with sound. Yeah, so uh, no, it's he's got, pretty loud as well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not the quietest thing in the world. No. It's about 99 decibels. Okay, so yeah, pretty safe for track at yeah. least. 
does it does most tracks in the UK. Yeah. Some are a little bit I can imagine questionable. it's done most tracks in the UK as well. Uh, yeah, a fair few of them now. Yeah. Uh, nah, the, built for, isn't it? the list of tracks I haven't done is shorter than the ones I have. Fair play, no, fair play to you, man. Um, inside as well, um, fully stripped out, yeah. full roll cage and everything. I mean, I don't think you'll be going to, to Tesco's anytime, will you? I mean, it does work for a Tesco's <laughs> one, there's so, there's so much space. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now, there's only one other car which I've filmed to this kind of caliber of track spec, which was a Golf R, and that had an extreme amount of money spent on it. I mean, this is just the same. So it's basically been completely repainted inside the same spec as the outside, right? Yeah, so Tyler Motorsport and Bracknell did the cage. Uh, did a fantastic job, as you can see. Um, it was painted by me and Nico from Smash Paintwork. Oh, so you did it yourself? Yeah, well, I, I helped do the prep. I'm not. I'm no yeah. painter, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, it looks insane. Absolutely awesome. Kept the speakers and yeah. the Harman Kardon modules, but that's about all that still remains. Yeah. I mean, let's have a proper look in here as well. Full different steering wheel as well. Insane bucket seats. And you sit really low in them, right, don't you? Yeah, they're literally side mount bolted to the floor. Look at this. Absolutely insane. I'm not, not really yet sure if there's anything else to mention. I mean, there's a long list, I know that. <laughs> uh, well, if you want to do inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got Sparco Circuit QRTs, uh, about a month old, if that. Um, Obviously, courtesy of my friend Hayden for the steering wheel, and then not much else. <laughs> there's, there's really not much left in here. I mean, you completely stripped out all the carpets, everything, the short shifter, like I mentioned. Wow, mate, what a car. I am uh, very, very excited to, to experience this, really. We're gonna have to find some decent roads. And it's not gonna be a track, but we'll, we'll make do. We'll make do, but mate, no, it's absolutely insane. One more thing, actually, I just remembered. Um, What's it sitting on springs-wise? Uh, it's on uh, BC coilovers mm -hmm. for now. Yep. Um, I'm still waiting on my uh, Bilstein Club Sports to be delivered, but it's what you get when you get Club Sport level parts. Yeah. There's always a bit of a wait. No, fair play. I mean, mate, I know I've said it a number of times, but this is one hell of a car. One hell of a car, certainly. Thank you. Well, it's not really a Mini anymore, is it? Well, they're not Absolutely really Minis insane. anymore, but... Yeah, man. And um, yeah, you've uh, the fact you bought it stock as well and built yeah. it up from the ground is uh, very, very impressive. Anyway, what we'll do, we'll start it up and um, well, I would say crank up the air conditioning, but it doesn't work. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll hop in, go for a little drive and uh, see what this thing's uh, really like out on the road.
car you stock for completely boat stock cars so and everything yeah. you see on this you've done. What mileage did you buy it at? Uh, 16 and a half. 16 and a half. And you've had it for how long? Four years. Four years. It's now just under 100,000 miles. <laughs> so it's definitely driven. Definitely driven. It's had a hard life. Yeah, a fun one though. Yeah. A fun one. Well, not for the car, but for me. <laughs> and you were saying there's literally 210 of these made. Yeah. This has got to be the only one or one of very few which has been highly modified at least. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a couple of guys in the owner's club that have, uh, that have seriously like modified them. Um, this is without a doubt the, the most modified. <laughs> there's others that are done a lot cleaner.